Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, we are trying to capture a Season TI Frost Giant. We are full Tier 4 party, which means we don't have at least one Tier 5 player and naturally it means that it will be a lot harder uh, then whenever you have a lot of tier 5 players in your alliance Let's see how well everything will go on As you already know there is like pretty hard uh, Stages for frost giant whenever the giant is throwing some snowball you have to uh, Hide it you have to move so it will be pretty hard uh, Like as any other behemoth in the game uh, whenever there is a new season you are having a lot more powerful uh, behemoths in the game. This is level 2 Frost Giant, this, that's how it was written whenever I came here. And yeah, let's see, at first it looks like it will be easy, but whenever the next stage of the behemoths will start, it will get a lot more harder in my opinion. For now we are doing absolutely fine, I guess I chose the correct uh, place uh, to fight because not a single ice shard has popped on my head and that's the important part as always. So we still have uh, 2.3 million uh, HP left on the behemoth which, which is fine. Most important here is to try to avoid the snowballs, try to avoid the uh, ice uh, shards which is popping uh, right in there yeah now i think it's time for us to hide behind this yeah i guess it was horrible placing but let's try to hide it somehow yep i was managed to hide yeah i did not get any damage which is absolutely correct now the most important and hardest part uh, right now is to not get hit by the snowball of course, I'm going to hide here from the snowball. Maybe I'm the one who is getting targeted. Yeah, I guess I was the one who was getting targeted from these uh, snowballs, which I managed to do everything correctly. Yep, that's the next one. And of course, I will be going here. I'm not going to try to get hit with the snowball because it doesn't really matter if it will hit you or not. It will generally uh, kill anybody who is trying to move on its way. And that's why I think for me it will be much better if I will just hide here. That's much, much better. Yeah, I guess this line, you should hide from this line because even if, it, if you will be on the way of the snowball, uh, you will get killed 100%. So far uh, we only lost one person which is amazing for a tier 4 party and the hardest stage was this one in my opinion after this it should be easy I guess we are going to have another stage like this until we're gonna be able to kill the behemoth <clears throat> It's hard because uh, we don't have tier 5 player here and uh, yeah, the damage is low, uh, it will take us uh, more time in order to deal more damage to the behemoth. I will try to have a better positioning here, uh, and let's see how much damage we are going to do at the end of the battle. Uh, for now we are doing fine, uh, like most important is always try to avoid the snowballs and try to use these ice shards in a perfect way. Now I have a good positioning, if uh, I will get thrown an uh, ice uh, snowball, I will try to hide here. Now it's all about trying to deal as much damage as possible. Yeah, I'm in top 4. Yeah, as I said, for a uh, free to play player it's easy to uh, get noticed whenever every single your alliance member from your side is also here for like you. Yeah, I think uh, Snowball will be hit here and I moved in a perfect time. So far I have not got hit by anything, which is pretty good. Uh, that's why we only lost a little bit amount of uh, uh, units on my Legion. And so far I think we are doing absolutely fine. Yep, like whenever I did this, uh, uh, this Behemoth with tier 5 players, it was 10 times easier because we had a lot more 
uh, pay to win players than we have right now we actually have none let's see if this stage will be same as the last one uh, i think last stage was perfect in my opinion we did not lose any legion and this is how you should play um with this behemoth because uh, yeah it's really really hard i think i'm getting targeted here and i will be able to hide hopefully yep yep that was perfect i think i can hide here like this is the main gameplay of the, the giant uh, that's the most important what you can do to not kill your alliance members now i like all, all as always i'm trying to play safe because uh yeah that's the main purpose of the behemoth battles as you can see somebody just got killed yep like 1.5 1.6 uh hp is left million hp is left uh, i got kind of lucky that i didn't get targeted by the behemoth at that point because it was too close but so far we are doing absolutely fine if we're gonna compare it to tier 5 players that's not even a question we are really really slow but yeah, like slowly we are progressing, uh, we are trying to avoid the snowballs and that's the most important in my opinion. Let's see how much, uh, yeah, I have a good amount of uh, damage dealt, like top 4, which is totally fine. I'm not sure why my legion is moving and not hitting, but yeah, we just beat that. 1.3 million HP is left and I should move, let's try, yep, yep. It was great timing, I avoided the damage. I think we're gonna see another stage uh, like this, snowball stage, which is most dangerous in my opinion when, uh, whenever you are fighting uh, this behemoth. If we will avoid the snowball stage, then I think everything will be fine. Most important is like every single alliance member who is participating in this battle should understand what's the me mechanics behind this fight. Uh, and you can simply like one alliance member can ruin everybody's fun and yeah like for a tier 4 players it's really really hard to kill the ice giant uh, because the enrage and we only have 46 seconds in order to defeat it i guess it will be a good um, guiding video on how to defeat the giant but unfortunately that's another lesson uh, that only tier 5 players can't really kill uh, these behemoths because you don't have generally enough uh, like power, enough damage in order to burst through this stage. In 21 seconds, uh, like it will be impossible to defeat this uh, behemoth. And I guess for the educational purposes, I will still post this video because every single stage was done correctly in a perfect way. Uh, only minus, only bad thing which happened in this fight is that we are simply every each of us are tier 5 player, tier 4 players and as you can see if your alliance has only tier 4 players it will be impossible for you to defeat the giant. Uh, try to get at least like one or two tier 5 players for the damage. Other than that in this video it, like everything was shown uh, how you should maneuver, how you should move away from the kill threat and how you should avoid the snowball. That's the main mechanic. Unfortunately, my alliance won't be able to capture this behemoth because we have every single member tier 4. But yeah, I hope your alliance has a couple of tier 5 players in order for you to deal more damage. And uh, like damage is most important in behemoth fights. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hoped we, will, we would be able to defeat the level 2... Uh, frost giant but i guess without tier 5 players it's simply impossible because you saw it we did every single mechanic in a perfect way but damage was lacking which means we need at least one or two tier 5 players thanks for watching i'm gonna continue making uh, call of dragons videos more and more because i enjoyed the game and i enjoyed making videos for you Thanks for watching, I hope you are having an amazing day, morning or night, depending whenever you are. I'm gonna see you very very soon. Bye bye.